My dear friend in Christ, in a very remote and far off Christian mission hospital, an old man, a recent convert to Christianity, regularly visited the hospital to have his eyes checked. While waiting to see the doctor, he would affectionately read portions of the Bible to other patients, offering them comfort, even though his vision was fading day by day. One morning after his eye checkup, he was given the disturbing news. The doctor said, I'm sorry to say that you will be losing your eyesight totally in a few weeks from now. We did what is best, but we couldn't help. In the next few days, the old man never turned up at the hospital. Someone then informed the doctor that he had gone away to the nearby hills all alone. The doctor, quite concerned, went in search for him and to his shock found him straining to read the Bible. He then told the doctor, You see, doctor, since I will be going blind shortly, I am memorizing portions of the Bible so that I can continue to be of some comfort to patients who come to meet you. My dear friend in Christ, there is no obstacle too big in life, no hurdle, no block that can stop us from receiving comfort from the Word of God and being in turn a source of comfort to others if only we have a deep-rooted love for the Word of God and know that God speaks directly to us through His Word. With so many communication gadgets easily available to us, we have more opportunities now than in the past to listen to, to communicate and to share God's Word with one another. We know for sure God's promise in the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10 to 11 As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the hungry so is my word that goes out from my mouth it will not return to me empty but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. May the Lord increase your love and longing for His precious word. May His word be your source of strength and comfort. May you have a good and godly day.